Zinc contamination of the lead alloy causes the alloy to not properly fill out the bullet cavities and thus the lead alloy is ruined. All of these are zinc wheel weights with the letters capital Z small n on them. The way to melt lead wheel weights and not melt zinc wheel weights is to set a thermostatically controlled electric furnace below the melting temperature of zinc which is 787 degrees Fahrenheit. I set my furnace to 700 degrees Fahrenheit which I know will not melt zinc wheel weights because I have tested it. Even if I make a mistake and put a zinc wheel weight in the lead alloy, it will not melt with the temperature set at 700 degrees Fahrenheit. Here I have a zinc wheel weight on the bottom, has capital Z small letter N, and the lead wheel weight on top. I'm going to put both of those in the alloy and show that the lead melts and the zinc wheel weight does not. There's the zinc wheel weight. There's the lead. Now the lead has melted off the clip of the lead wheel weight and the zinc wheel weight is still there and it's not melted. Now I'll hold it underneath the alloy for a few seconds. and you can see it's not melted. It just doesn't melt at this temperature. So that's how I keep from making a mistake with the zinc whale weights and getting zinc contamination as I set the furnace at a temperature of 700 degrees Fahrenheit which is below the melting temperature of zinc which is 787 degrees Fahrenheit. I do sort the wheel weights because it is a waste of time and energy to put zinc and steel weights in the furnace. Here are some steel wheel weights. The furnace does not create temperatures high enough to melt steel. And the zinc wheel weights, this is one, I do not want to melt in the lead alloy. I separate the lead stick-on wheel weights 
from the lead clip-on wheel weights. I use the lead stick-on wheel weights for casting shotgun slugs and buckshot. This lead is very soft. And I use the lead clip-on wheel weights for casting bullets. This lead is harder than the stick-on wheel weights. With experience, I can sort wheel weights by eye. When in doubt, the magnet helps. The lead clip-on wheel weights have more pointed ends than steel wheel weights. And you'll, with time, get more experience by noticing the types of steel wheel weights and picking them out by eye without using the magnet. Sometimes I'll find the zinc wheel weights before they go into the electric furnace like the top two and sometimes I don't like the bottom one which has been covered in residue from being in the furnace in the alloy but not melting these all have the letter capital Z small n on them which I've cleaned off to make it easier to see so I know my furnace is working properly in not melting the zinc because of the bottom wheel weight was not melted.